Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can add background music to your Amiga C programs. When you are writing a game at some point you will find that without sound the playing experience can be severely lacking and therefore in one of my videos I demonstrate playing sound effects on the Amiga hardware. However, what if you want to play entire songs for background music? Probably the most popular way to create music on the Amiga is by using a tracker, a type of music software which embraces a more code-based approach. There are a few common things that you will see virtually in every tracker. Most of the time a large portion of the user interface is occupied by a pattern editor. Patterns are a central concept of tracker-based music. In this case there are four tracks which correspond to each of the four Amiga sound channels and each track has a number of positions which can contain a note, a sample number and an effect command. If you are familiar with other DAWs such as Ableton Live or Cubase this type of interface will take some time getting used to. I certainly needed a while to get anything out of the tracker but many people make great music with trackers it's just a different approach. There are a number of free trackers like Milky Tracker or OpenMPT and I used the ProTracker 2 clone here. An example for a modern commercial tracker is Renoise and I think it looks quite nice. I really like how the user interface is organized. To avoid copyright issues I decided to make my own mod with all the competence of a guy who hasn't touched a tracker in 30 years. I spent a lot of time just learning the interface so it turned out accordingly simple. I went on Aminet and downloaded the mod player library PT Player by Frank Wille. I think Frank did an amazing job adding a lot of useful functionality and maintaining it for so long. Unless you really want to write your own music player, do yourself a favor and just use a third party library for handling music so you can focus entirely on the game and graphics. Here is how I use the PT Player library. You can find the link to my example programs in the description. This is not a library in the sense of an Amiga OS library like the Intuition or Graphics libraries but rather a collection of functions written in assembly code. Frank made it very easy to use it by providing include files for both assembly and C, so I used the C include headers here. You can also see that we need to add the SDI headers which can be downloaded from the Aminet too. The SDI headers are particularly useful if you write programs for variants of the Amiga OS like Amiga OS 4, Morph OS or ROS. I actually do this quite often so I have them where my NDK headers are. Have a look at my main function here. To play a mod from within the C source of course you need to load the mod somewhere into memory first. I have just declared a static array of chip memory here but it is possible to take advantage of the ProTracker format structure by loading the song data into fast memory and only the samples into chip memory. The first call to MT install CIA installs a CIA interrupt handler which needs to know the address of the custom structure which is just a structure to access the custom chip registers in a convenient way and it also wants to know whether we are on a PAL or NTSC system. The call to empty init initializes the player with the mod we want to play and here you can specify the addresses for the song data and the samples separately. I set the start position to zero because I want the player to start from the beginning. This unassuming variable empty enable is actually quite important because it tells the player to either play or pause playing. We want the music to play so we set that to a one. I'm keeping this example really simple so please assume here comes the rest of your game initialization and here would be whatever happens in your game loop. And at the end before we exit our program we deinitialize the player. So we set the empty enable variable to zero to pause playing, call empty end to stop the player for the current mod and finally we call empty remove CIA to uninstall the CIA interrupt handler. Here's the makefile that I used to build the example program. I use VBCC as my C compiler and VASM as my assembler and make sure that the assembler generates an object file in Amiga hunk format. In my target for example 01 I make sure that the PT players and the example programs object files are combined. After we build the example program this is how it sounds like in UAE. To make this a little more game like I have added the PT player to an example program from my sprite tutorial.
I hope I was able to show that it is quite simple to add background music to games that were written in C. Maybe I will see your game sometime in the near future. Anyways, thank you so much for your attention and take care.